Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details regarding personal readings. Also details how to win a free personal reading. We're going to do your in-depth uh, soulmate uh, predictions here. Please know this isn't current energy. This is predictions moving forward. It is possible that some of you may already be going through this, but um, for the most part, this is up to a year energy. Okay. Don't get too hung up on the timing. And when you see this video, it is meant to find you. And if it doesn't resonate, you can check out um, your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. So let's get started here, Aries. I'm going to cut the deck. I'm going to start off with some general messages that can be about any area of your life. Uh, so these are important messages from your archangels. So let's see what your first message is. Okay, wow, there you are showing up. Uh, definitely connecting to your energy here, Aries energy here. Let's see what else. We also have here the Three of Michael. And we have here, oh, beautiful, the Six of Gabrielle. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. And bottom of the deck here, you have perspective. Okay. So I feel like, Aries, what this is showing me, I feel like there's some sort of big change that's going to happen with you in your life and this can just be around your love life but it can be in different areas of your life here you're going to start to see things from a different perspective i feel like you're going to do some things differently um and i feel like um you're going to do things like kind of in your own unique way okay but i feel like there will be a period of time where you're going to be really uh re pausing to reflect on uh, the past, what you've learned, and seeing things differently, okay? Now, the emperor here, um, besides being your energy, this talks about ambitious plans, so I feel like there is going to be something here that you are going to be changing. It's going to be something um, very stable and secure, okay? So some of you could be a love, some of you could be around career and business. Now you have uh, the three of Michael. This is about healing and releasing the past. So some of you may have gone through a situation that was very heartbreaking, as I said, any area of your life. And you are, um, I feel here, maybe making the decision here to release that situation and heal. You also have here, this is beautiful, okay, six of wands. So like I said here, if some of you are making some sort of plan in your life, this is the victory card with the six of wands. This is that energy that you've done a great job and um, you're going to be um, rewarded, okay, in some sort of way uh, from this endeavor here, okay? So some of you could be a relationship. Some of you, it could be, you know, money or career. So with that, let's get into specifically here into your love life. Some of you with this um, energy here, some of you could um, do some sort of business, okay, uh, where you get definitely recognized or people notice your work is what I'm getting there as well. Um, but it could be a career, right? A career move um, or a change. Uh, I, I also feel like a promotion for some of you. All right. So let's see what the energy is here for Aries. Okay. Soulmate predictions for Aries. Please show Aries what they need to know. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. The Queen of Wands. This is you, Aries. This is you showing up very confident. Um, you may even feel like you um, feel very creative. Um, definitely confident, looking good. Oh, look at that. And the King of Cups. Okay, <clears throat> two things. This could be um, an indication somebody's coming into your life. Could be a water sign. But I feel like here, um, this is you being confident and secure. And I feel confident and secure emotionally. Um, I feel 
Uh, that's something you are working towards here. Yeah, and you're doing this seven of wands by standing true to your own values, sticking up for what you believe in. You also have here the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you, um, if you have not already, you will gain clarity about something that was painful in love that happened here, okay? You will start to see the truth about um, a situation, a past situation where there may have been and some hurt or betrayal you also have here the nine of pentacles okay so i definitely see you in this really confident um energy and taking time for yourself nurturing yourself doing what you need to do to prepare you i feel for this soulmate here you have the four of pentacles another four here talks about stability security here okay so i definitely feel you're moving oh look at that we have the queen of cups the counterpart here to the king of cups but this is also about you trusting and following your heart okay that makes you feel secure so i definitely get a lot of energy here aries about you between now and then and the year next year that you are just going to be really feeling good emotionally here we have the nine of swords which that can be the worry energy but in this deck it's about you know trusting the current situation being in the present moment you have the three of wands okay opportunity knocks all right this is envisioning your goals your future setting the intentions that you want here all right they're not showing me here okay now you got the six of cups all right so that talks about the past energy um you know thinking about the past remembering the good times okay so even though there may have been hurt betrayal here we have the chariot i move forward with confidence there cancerian energy oh look at that you showed up again okay i make empowered choices here as the emperor and the five of wands i stand my ground there may be somebody here that you're standing your ground with because that is coming out two times here we have the moon you're listening to your intuition okay and there it is the ace of cups okay so I feel like Aries, um, yeah, I feel there's a new love here, okay? There's a new love coming in for you, and you are trusting what the universe is bringing in here, okay? So I feel like a lot of you are going to be working on yourself, taking care of yourself, preparing yourself for uh, this new soulmate that is coming in for you. I feel like you're healing from another situation. So let's see uh, more about um, this new love energy, okay? Soulmate energy coming in for you. What else can you share with Aries about this new love uh, soulmate coming towards Aries? All right. Okay, beautiful. We have the world. Talks about closing out cycles. This is a triumph completion. It's interesting because you see two people here, okay? Also talks about new beginnings, things coming full circle. You may even be doing some um, you know, travel here. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Cups came out. Okay, two times you have the Ace of Cups. So this is saying you're going to be emotionally ready. You're closing out a cycle, I feel, with somebody here from your past um, that I feel caused you a lot of pain or heartbreak or somebody who betrayed you. Let's see here. Okay, we have, yeah, we have the Four of Cups here. What this is telling me is that um, I'm just going to say you could have been dealing with somebody who was arrogant, maybe feeling that you wasted your time. That may not be everybody, but it's definitely a, a discontent energy. And we have the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. Yeah. There's, um, I feel like you have the four of cups here. So this person, whoever this was, I feel in the past, their energy may still be around you. Okay. And you may feel like you wasted your time with that person. But then I see here the lovers. Okay. Euphoric choice. And so this is someone, um, you know, there's a decision here. Okay. So that could be uh, your energy upcoming here for some of you that you, you may have to make a choice in love, 
Remember, this is, uh, this is future predictions. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Cups. I was just talking about how uh, this other energy is still going to be around you. They're going to be a temptation. See that uh, really good looking cherry there. <laughs> okay. And this says grandiose temptations. So this is also about you making healthy choices, uh, Aries. So this other person, whoever I'm picking up may not uh, be everybody, but it is still going to be here. Okay. Because we have the lovers and I also see, you know, this is a euphoric choice. You may have a lot of chemistry with this other person physically okay but i feel there's a new person and then you have here the seven of wands okay seven of wands can be standing up for what you believe in but what i'm gonna say here it's with the ace of cups that's telling me that um this new love this is somebody who's going to be all in this card says all in and determined so let's see what else we have here we also have here the moon okay so what's interesting about the moon it's here with the four of cups so it's with the energy that i was picking up here that there's someone i feel right they may have left you with lack of clarity they may have been somebody who disillusioned you all right um you know i almost feel like too you could see uh this girl is looking down you know, um, not real confident looking, kind of embracing herself. This could have been somebody who made you feel like you did something wrong or there was something wrong with you. But that's not the case, um, Aries, because your energy, I feel here, is um, awesome, confident. Okay, I see you doing healing and focusing on self here. You have the the five of swords yeah this other person was somebody who was out for themselves okay the the meaning on this card says ruthlessly win all right this is someone who i feel they were just out for themselves doing what i feel was self-gratifying to them okay let's see what else okay seven of swords yeah this is someone i feel that there was trust issues or this person wasn't very honest with you Okay, and that could be the betrayal, but look, this is the wheel, the wheel of fortune, and it says here, lucky twist of fate. So there is a change here, a twist of fate here. Let's see what else here. Uh, tell me more about this uh, t lucky twist of fate for Aries. All right, we have the five of wands. Okay, this is telling me here th with the five of wands, this is the ending here of um, a conflict of feeling like you were not getting anywhere with this person. You have the three of coin and now you're building a new foundation. Queen of wands, there you are. You're building within you, queen of wands, right? You're, you're building your foundation, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself there. And we also have here, look at that, 10 of cups for your happiness. So, and Queen of Swords, I just have to say on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're going to be thinking more strategically about love. I mean, that could be your ambitious plans, but I see here, Aries, I see like a new you, a more confident, looking good, thinking strategically, right, detaching emotionally from this energy here. And um, you're going to come into a completion of happiness with this new love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some cards here. And I'm going to first ask about the past person. And then I'm going to um, ask about uh, the new person here. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about this past person. Okay, so you have the butterfly here. Okay, so I feel like um, this is... A relationship that you are healing from and you have grown from yeah the coffin okay so it either ended already or or this is uh, maybe something here that you are deciding to end which is bringing about a new beginning okay and look at that Cupid's arrow okay so they're telling you here with Cupid's arrow this is about have faith because uh, new love is coming towards you all right, and look, you have paradise, happiness, expansion. By you expanding your opportunities, right, um, 
and looking and moving forward, what it's showing here in this reading, you're going to meet uh, this new person. Ace of Cups came out twice. So tell me more about this new person for Aries. Tell me more about this new soulmate coming in for Aries. Okay, beautiful. Look at that. You have the Empress. This is somebody I feel here. They're going to be, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. This is someone who is loving and nurturing, okay? I feel here you're going to feel at peace and harmony with this person. You do have um, the two of swords, okay? So what that is telling me here, you're going to have a choice. As we saw earlier, we saw the Four of Cups energy, and you're going to have to make a decision, you know, it, the timing is going to be different for everybody. It, it feels like this other person's energy is going to be around with this new love energy coming in for you. Okay, you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who is uh, well-educated or educated. Somebody, too, um, who is an achiever. They work really hard. Um, we also have here the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone, I feel, who's going to invest time with you. And um, I also feel like with this choice decision card, you know, the meanings are different here. But with this choice decision card, I feel like this is someone that um, besides you making a, de a, a decision or a choice, I almost feel like you won't have to guess with this person. For some reason, I'm feeling a decisive energy here. And look at that. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, this is a new soulmate that I feel that you and this person, um, I feel, could become, you know, partners in a relationship. I'm also going to say with this, this is someone I feel you're going to learn from, too. This is something I feel you're going to be attracted to. And look at that. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Cups here. This is the romantic opportunity this person um, is coming in for you. Okay, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have strong Taurus here. Let's see what else I'm picking up here. Okay, could be a Libra. It could be any sign here, right? Could also be a Gemini uh, or an Earth sign is what I'm getting here so far. Now, bottom of the deck. Okay, so with this Nine of Cups, Okay, this is someone I feel uh, coming towards you, genuine. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, this is someone too. I, like I said, I feel um, with this Eight of Pentacles, they're an achiever here. They're up to the challenge here. They have the courage to come towards you. They also stand up for what they believe in. And this is someone I feel who's going to pursue you. You also have the Queen of Swords. So there's somebody um, I feel here, they're going to be honest, they're going to come towards you with the truth. And also in this deck, this is someone who is ambitious. So again, confirming this is someone who's very ambitious. And then we have the high priestess, they listen to their inter their intuition, they listen to um, their inner voice here. Okay, so very nice energy I'm picking up so far. I'm going to pull some more energy about your person. But what I feel here, Aries, there's someone uh, coming towards you. Um, but they are also showing me the Eight of Cups energy. This is telling me you have to, you know, we have the perspective. You have to look at things differently, right? And, and explore, right? Explore meeting new people or explore maybe dating online or whatever you have to do because with this eight of cups when you do that this is telling you there is going to be swift change things can uh change quite quickly if you change your mindset and you do things differently now if you're already dating you're already meeting people um the other thing with this card is they're saying here that you may need to change the way you're doing things if you are not seeing that you're meeting the right people or, um, you know, meeting anybody. Okay, so remember that. Keep that in mind. So let's get some um, romance angel cards. What else can you share with Aries? Please show Aries what they need to know. Okay, 
So we have codependency. I feel like with this codependency, either this person, the past person here, the person that hurt you, maybe somebody who's trying to hold on to you, or you may be having a hard time letting go of this person. And there could be addictions involved. Okay, that's not going to be everybody, but let's see what else we have. Okay, yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's the energy I see. You really preparing yourself and working on you, nurturing, loving yourself. Okay, and that's what's going to call in your soulmate. Wow, right? Letting go, not holding on to something here, loving yourself, calling in your soulmate. Okay, also envisioning, okay, you could do prayer, envisioning this person, you know, what's the type of person you want to manifest. I always tell people, write it down, write it down, be descriptive in all areas of what you're looking for a person. And I always tell people, put it under a pillow and sleep on it for three days, right? Let it marinate. <laughs> And look, here comes your true love. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And look, you have let your friends help you. You can meet this person. We didn't ask that, okay? So I'm going to pull some more cards how you're going to meet this person. Um, but I feel here, um, some of you, this could be through friends, okay? Or their friends. Something about friends in social groups here you could meet this person and obviously if you're dating online let's use this deck if you're dating online then you may uh you know obviously you, you could meet that person okay so let's see here some of you may need assistance from a friend to help you set up a profile i'm getting that as well so let's see aries how is aries going to meet this person how is Aries going to meet this new soulmate? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so, hmm. Let's see what else? We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Some of you may be avoiding a white, um, I almost feel with the seven of swords, it's funny because this person has a ring, right? This can be the deceptive energy. Some of you may emotionally right now uh, not be ready. Um, and I feel like because it, we went through a lot of you working on yourself, nurturing yourself, preparing yourself. And that could be why, okay? Because there's time that you need to take for yourself to heal, right maybe make some decisions about a specific person and so it may be right now you may not feel you are in the place okay but this is also about creativity and being creative yeah and here it is again the queen of wands so okay it's showing me here once you're ready emotionally right that queen of wands you've you know worked on you and done what you needed to do you're gonna have to take some action right here's that risk that leap of faith okay um so you have to have that vision you have to feel the desire okay to do something take some sort of action to meet someone and you also have here the nine of wands this is about uh boundaries okay so make sure you're setting your boundaries with people and we have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, can be family. Okay, so right now I'm getting you may meet this person through friends, family, but I feel like you have to feel content within yourself to get out there and start dating, all right? And then we have the devil. Oh my gosh, here's fear. Okay, some of you, you know, this can be about desire too. Nine of Swords. Okay, some of you may... Some of you may be having a hard time letting this other energy go, but if not, some of you may be, you know, feeling the fear about starting over or meeting somebody new. Let's see what else. Okay, the hangman. Wow. Delays here. Delays. But this also can be reflection. Page of Cups. Okay. Magical love. All right. What I'm really getting here, um, Aries... Gosh, it's taken a while to get through this. And then we have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, I feel like there's something here around you doing something different, taking the risk to put yourself out there, 
okay? Some of you, I feel like you could meet um, this person through family and friends. Others, I feel with this page of cup, this could just be about you going and doing places and things that you love, that you enjoy. And I feel like you're going to attract this person. It's very important to what I talked about, the intentions, right, to manifest this person. So I'm going to pull some guidance here for you. So there may be, um, you know, if I was to... If I was to give an estimate of timing, because this is um, predictive for the year, I feel like this could be someone that you meet in the next uh, four to six months, okay, the new love. Because I feel like there's time here for you preparing, but I feel, right, the energy can change if you, you do things sooner, right? So we have hope here, and it says, stay positive, the world, or the worst is behind you, and look up to the light, okay? So it's telling you the situation's going to get better. We also have here friendship. It says, seek, your, seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, and spend more time socializing. And that's what I said here. I feel like you need to get out more, right? Go out and do things, be with friends, family. Um, and I feel like that's how you're going to meet this person. You also have your imagination. Now, it can be socializing online, too, okay? But we have um, imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream and believe in the unlimited possibilities, right? So I really feel, Aries, this is about you, um, you know, expanding your options, seeking new options, doing things different, having the desire to meet new people and go out and have fun, right? While also, you know, preparing yourself for this soulmate. So, you know, remember here, we do have the four of wands. I feel like there is a union here between you and a new soulmate, but, um, you know, you still have this other energy around you. And you're going to have to make a decision is what I'm seeing here. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.